What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. Today's video, we are going over the KVD series of rods that I own. This is something that we have not done yet. Uh, I had a couple of people asking about the KVDs over on Instagram and TikTok. So we're going to check out the two bait casting KVDs that I have. We may get into the spinning version if we have time, but for now, for sure, we're going to do these two. So let's roll that intro and check these things out. All right, guys, so Kevin Van Dam, we all know if it's got KVD's name on it, he likes it a lot. That's probably a product that he uh, he uses quite a bit. So we're gonna start off with cranking. We're gonna go with my deep cranking setup first. This is the Lose KVD CC5. This is a deep cranking stick. This is a, a seven foot, four inch heavy moderate. It is a composite rod, very, very high grade blank. I love the way that it operates and works. It feels really good in your hand. I was a little nervous about how short the rod was coming in at 7'4". Usually I like more along the lines of a 7'10", 7'11". But this has actually really pleasantly surprised me with how it works. So let's take a look at the rod because I really like the rod a lot. The one thing that I love about it, yes, it's composite grips, but it makes up for the composite grips with this. It is a padded, uh, padded lock so that your finger is on the padding the whole time. Some people like to hold their reels like this. I personally, I hold mine down here, but it's got padded grip there. A lot of people said they wanted that, so they brought it to y'all. Padded gripping there. The rod itself is a moderate, a composite moderate. A composite is a combination of graphite and glass. Uh, I think you're going to really start seeing a lot of pure glass rods disappearing uh, because a lot of people are starting to prefer the composite. So with the composite rod, you're gonna get a lot of bend here in the backbone. You can actually see how it flexes there. It allows for that rod to really control the fish on the crankbait, and it allows you to be able to, in theory, have more, better hookups and more fish caught because the rod is going to play the fish as well. The reel, this is the Loose KVD reel. This one is a 6.3, I always get this confused, 6.2. I always call it a 6.3. Six, 6.2 six, to 1 gear ratio. It's got 20 pounds of drag in it, but keep in mind, we do not use that amount of drag in these reels. Uh, with this reel, you want it to be about a third of the weight of your line. So I use 12 pound line, so you want your drag to be about four pounds. The reel itself has got EVA foams, 95 millimeter handle, very comfortable to use in the hand. Uh, you've got your magnetic braking system over here. We'll go ahead and open it up real quick for you all to take a look at it as well. You've got your magnets inside that you can flip on and off. Uh, really, really high quality reel. The rod comes in at $109.99. I mean, that's just an insane price for a really, really good rod. The reel, I believe, is $149.99. So you've got less than $300 in the entire setup and you have a really high quality cranking rod. Now I'm using 12 pound Strike King Contra fluorocarbon on there. And that is a Strike King 6XD. All right, next up, we have got the KVD jerk bait rod this is the gc1 this is a six foot eight inch medium heavy fast action rod this has made jerk baiting fun for me again uh there for a while i was just i hated to jerk bait like i just couldn't stand jerk baiting but with this rod coming out and me getting a hold of it and using i actually really like jerk baiting now so it's got a lot of tip to it, but it still has that backbone uh, that you can set the hook really easy. Well, you don't set the hook, but you sweep into it really easily, but the tip still allows you to fight it. This is uh, also an IM8 blank EVA foam grips. You have got the uh, EVA foam up here on the screw lock as well. The reel that I've got, this is an eight three to one gear ratio. Yeah, eight three to one gear ratio. I want it super fast because I'm not going to be moving that jerk bait with the reel. I'm moving the jerk bait with the rod. If you're ever jerking and you catch yourself spinning that reel too much, you're killing the action of the jerk bait. You want to be moving that jerk bait with just the rod snaps and then picking up the slack with the reel. So the reason why I wanted the faster gear ratio is because when I jerk it and they hit it, a lot of the time they'll start running at me. So I wanted the faster gear ratio to be able to pick up line to be able to catch up to them. Now, this will throw up to three quarters of an ounce of a lure that covers all of the uh, 
jerk baits that I throw from Strike King, so no issues there. I am jerking with 12 pound Strike King Contra line. That is a KVD 200 in the uh, natural, natural color. Uh, so I think we've got time. We're gonna go ahead and grab that uh, KVD spinning rod as well. All right, so this is the KVD spinning rod combo. Uh, this is the GS, GS4. Um, it is a 7.2, I believe, 7.2 medium light extra fast. That was something that I really wanted in a spinning rod because I love fishing medium fast stuff. I think uh, I get a lot more sensitivity to it, but I still have a lot of backbone that I can drive that spear point hook very easily. So that's what I want. I wanted some of the lot of tip, a lot of sensitivity. So cool thing about these, the real seat locks from the bottom. I got to let go of that line. The real seat locks from the bottom down here. Uh, so the top part here never moves. You've got a maximum comfort up there. So the way that I hold my reels, you guys know, I like my hand up here. I've got that max grip up here, super comfortable, really allows me to get a good grip on there and it feels really good in my hand as well. The reel, uh, I've actually had this reel for a while. I've been using this reel longer than I've been sponsored by Luz. This is the KVD 200. This is a 10 bearing system. I believe it's a six two to one gear ratio. Yes, it is a six two to one gear ratio. Um, it's got some good drag. I love the drag system in it. It works really well. Uh, as far as line, uh, I'm running 20 pound uh, tour grade, tri Strike King tour grade. Yeah, Strike King tour grade to Strike King Contra 10 pound test fluorocarbon. I use the Alberto not to connect those. Um, the rod itself is an IM8 blank, really, really nice. You can see it flex way back here. It's got a lot of tip to it as well. Uh, super, super sensitive. I really enjoy fishing it a lot. I've actually got a crappie jig on there right now because I was also crappie fishing with it because it, it is that sensitive and it can throw those really, really light bait. More than likely, I'm going to be using the KVD for tight lining up until the new um, custom light comes out. As soon as the custom light comes out, then I'm gonna switch the custom light and I'm gonna get one of the custom rods or the light rods. I think it's the light rods that come in ultralights. I'm gonna get those on a tight line with that, but for now, it's the KVD. All right, guys, there you have it, the KVD series of rods. What do you guys think about them? Uh, I, you know, I've always been a fan of Kevin Van Dam. Anytime that his name's on something, you know it's gonna be a quality product. I, I really enjoy them. The three that I have, I've had a great time, but the cool thing about the KVD lineup is you can do almost everything. If you wanted to fish a, a, a very affordable rod coming at $109, and you wanted to be able to do everything on the spectrum of fishing, you can. The only thing missing from the KVD lineup is a glide bait, swim bait, a rig rod. You can flip, skip, buzz bait, top water, jerk bait, crank bait. There's literally anything and everything. You could build an entire arsenal out of nothing but KVD rods and be completely set for any situation that you have, which I think is really cool. And it helps a lot that it's affordable because you know, fishing's getting to be very, very expensive and you can get these rods for $109.99 and then you can get the reels. I believe they're $149.99. I might be rod wrong there, but you get a really high quality blank, high quality components for what I feel to be a really fair price. I mean, I think that's a great price for these rods. Guys, if y'all like these videos, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below and let me know what you think about the KVD rod. This video is coming out on a Tuesday, which means tomorrow evening, we have trivia night over on TikTok. If you are not on TikTok, if you haven't followed my TikTok yet, I highly encourage you to follow my TikTok. Wednesday nights, we do trivia night where we have random sponsors give away free stuff. So y'all be sure to come over, check it out. Michael Knapp Fishing on TikTok. Every Wednesday night, we're going to be doing trivia night, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So y'all be sure to come over, check it out. There will actually be trivia questions from these videos, past videos, all kinds of stuff, uh, and then general knowledge fishing questions as well. So be sure to come over and check it out. Like, comment, subscribe, notifications on. Take care, everybody.